Dear friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Shiva Yoga World and Travel. The video I am showing is a Chrysos Kali Tissa, 17th century Greek Orthodox Eastern Christian Church and Monastery in Crete. 72 kilometers travel from Hania, the capital of uh, Crete, and we can reach here. This church is a 17th century and it's very built with a lot of uh, stones. Um, 35 meters located, this uh, church is located around 35 meters above the sea and above the water. This church is, uh, overlooks the Libyan Sea. It's a very traditional, very ancient, very old. Not ancient, it's like a 17th century, but they maintain this place very well. You can see the buildings and all the paintings and the uh, architects, everything. Very Greek style, maybe Cretan style architects. You can see the museum there. I'm showing you the museum in this church. There are two different museums there. This one of them. And they kept a lot of uh, related with the Bible and uh, Greek Orthodox church related uh, paintings and uh, you know ancient ruins in this museum. It was a very good day. We and uh, myself and my group uh, come here for a visit as per our tour guide. So he waited outside uh, in the car and then we had a climb. You need to climb up to the steps to enter into the uh, this church, this uh, Greek Orthodox Church. I will repeat this again, Chrysoskali Kalistisa. Look at that, that uh, very, very old, very strongly built it. And uh, other, the left side is uh, the land, this is uh, the church on the right side. You can see the view from here, uh, the, you know, the sea and the other areas of this uh, place. It's a lot of uh, monasteries uh, dedicated to Holy Trinity. Um, that's this monastery is dedicated. There are a lot of steps you need to climb. You need to take time and slow. And then at the top of the step, you can see the beautiful 17th century uh, Greek Orthodox Church. Very nice and tidy. And we can feel a sense of, uh, you know, holistic, very spiritual when we're there. A lot of tourists, visitors come here to worship and see the place. I also visited the inside of the church. I put a, uh, put a candle there and just prayed for the total well-being in the whole world. There are a lot of cats, you can see. A lot of cats surrounded here, surrounded here. They are very friendly, but a uh, little bit uh, shy, you know. There's a narrow path by the side of this uh, monastery. Uh, it go, that's a dead end. And then after that reach there, it won't go further. And that Libyan Sea is there, crystal clear water. I thought it was a Cretan Sea. Then I look at the Wikipedia, I say that the Libyan Sea, nice flowers, lot of uh, rocks. Uh, it's like a sort of a very, very, uh, very, uh, very, very hard rock, you know, uh, uh, very rough, you know. During our visit, there are a lot of, uh, 
you know, uh, um, uh, slightly breeze. Sun was nice. The weather was good. And they're showing you around the surrounding areas of the church. Look at that, the main hall of the entrance of the church. That's a view from the church, the outside areas. Uh, there are, you can see some mountains, some houses, some olive tree plantations around there. It was very quiet, very peaceful. This is the inside of the church. Looks amazing. And uh, the the light, you know, the candle lights always there. And if you want to put some donation, you can also uh, give some donation there. Um, and just uh, worship or pray and for your wishes, your family, for the world, etc. Very nice uh, architect inside, nicely arranged. You know, chandeliers there, you can see. It was a nice day. We had a very good, uh, uh, you know, good time to visiting this uh, beautiful church. It's a 17th century church. There are a lot of history behind this church. Uh, 